Jack Swigert is... Hello, call up the computer clock. Try to take a look. Jack Swigert is talking to them from the capital... Okay, the picture isn't, uh, isn't the best right at this time, Wally. They're continuing the tour of the cabin, having checked their time and position. Uh, we're going to switch antennas here to try and improve the picture a little bit. It's a good picture of the hatch window. We can clearly see the lines. Astronaut Jack Swagger in mission control, talking to the spacecraft. And now that they've changed antennas at the Texas station, we're getting a good picture. Some people here in Houston are outside right now looking. Uh, looking for the spacecraft. We were told there might be visual sighting of it this morning. The skies over Houston, however, are overcast, so there's not too much chance of their seeing it. Apollo 7, Houston. Apollo 7, Houston. We're losing your voice description. Uh... voice contact. This morning, for some reason, other the astronauts have seen fit to show us the cabin and not themselves. Wonder where they're hiding. Hey, Walt, why don't you take the camera back and you can show us the uh, overhead section above the couches. Okay, Wally, we've got your voice back now. Roger. How's the picture, Jack? A uh, picture is very good, very good. What I had showed you there were the two windows, the commander's reference window for pitch attitude and the center hatch window for bank attitude for re-entry if we lose other guidance systems. That's a sleeping bank we're seeing right now. Center window. Center window. Yep, the sleeping accommodations.
and we've been uh, very comfortable ever since. That's Walt Cunningham describing the scene right now. Back to the uh, commander, he will describe the other couch. Uh,
Uh, in the foreground, we can see Paul Haney on the Public Affairs Console. And down in the middle of our picture, we can see the flight director, Glenn Money. At the moment, we're listening to Capcom Jack Swagger Air Force this morning. talking from the ground. Hello. Okay. Still be at our duty station. Aye. their duty stations is the word that we get. So when the picture comes through, we should be able to see everyone in position. We're still looking at the picture from Mission Control while waiting from the picture from the spacecraft. Roy, uh, uh, do you see a sense of uh, perhaps relief among those people that have been on the job so long down there? I do indeed, Peter. All these people have been at it on the job for a very long time now. And, of course, so the astronauts. I suspect that they're rather happy at the, the moment for re-entry is close We're beginning to see a picture. we got about half a picture. And uh, it's clearing up now. Let's uh, cut it up, would you? No. That's Paul Haney talking to Alpha. Let's cut up a picture now. One of the signs in there. Let's see if we can on the ALC switch. Let's see how that helps. And this morning we have the camera in the upright position. Okay, let's go back to the other position. I think you were right. Everybody out of the pool. <laughs> the reference, of course, to the fact that it won't be long until they come down. That's Walter Sherrod. Morning at our regular cruise stations, uh, passing over the United States, about an hour and a half before our seventh, and final before our eighth, and tomorrow morning our retro flight. Uh, Don Isaac down the lower equipment bay on a backup alignment technique. We have the platform aligned at this point for bird number seven. I don't know if you can note or not, Jack, but I'm moving from the front of the attitude indicator down low up to the window is getting ready to check for a door and it should be arriving almost any moment now. I think you can see the ease of motion. None of us is trapped in. We feel very comfortable where we are. Right, that's coming through very clear. Roger. And we thought we'd give each of you a close-up of our beards this morning to prove that we have been here and that we are not fans of the beard club. I will, I will not admit to the, I will not admit to the fact that there's any gray in this beard. Uh, uh, my hairdresser is the only one that knows. Right, we can't see the gray. You're safe. <laughs> Roger. I was wondering where the gray went. I'll uh, go down below now and uh, let Don get up in the couch. You can check his beard and his configuration for the day. coming into view now. Yesterday, Paul Haney was heard to say that uh, bearded people are... Don, you want to move over to your... Oh, that's it. Paul, he's going to move the camera a little bit. We've got three professional cameramen up here now, so uh, when we get back, we expect to get our union cards. And they will, from the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Uh, well, I was uh, performing a uh, backup alignment procedure that could be used in the event of a computer failure uh, to get the uh, inertial platform aligned for a particular maneuver. Uh, that's been completed now. It was one of our test objectives on this flight. And it came out very good. We came within a quarter of a degree of the uh, actual alignment that we wanted.
taking turns uh, watching the uh, eight balls over here, keeping the spacecraft somewhere near the attitude we need for the burn. And a little later on, we'll uh, bring it in precisely. We can now see Walt Cunningham over to the left of the picture. Uh, number one caravan is now putting down the dolly up on Walt Cunningham and his rear. Seen enough. 